Let's talk about hydrogen and the health benefits thereof. So first off, what is hydrogen? Hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element found in the universe. Well, uh, primarily hydrogen is present uh, as this bimolecular molecule that can be found as a free hydrogen gas. It's a colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic gas found in nature, as I mentioned, as H2. Well, we can take in hydrogen in a number of different ways. We can take it in as a gas. So hydrogen is extremely safe. You know, and this is one of the things that uh, we can all say about hydrogen is it is very, 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 very safe. And in fact, uh, before I went to college, uh, I worked as a professional diver. And we actually use hydrogen in our gas mixtures for deep diving. And it's been used commercially in uh, deep diving for many, many years, ever since the uh, 1930s. Uh, they've been experimenting with different gas mixtures to prevent uh, decompression sickness or the bends in professional divers who work for long periods of time at great depth. So hydrogen has been put in the mixture with helium and oxygen, mostly not only to delete out the oxygen, but also to provide other properties as well. And so one of the, the more popular mixtures for deep diving is a mixture of hydrogen, helium, and oxygen, removing completely the nitrogen. So uh, obviously it's safe because of the use of hydrogen since the 30s in a high pressure environment. So the partial pressure of hydrogen is, is much, much higher than it is in ambient use. And so if it had any possibility of causing harm, we would have known about it over the years from, from uh, thousands and thousands of professional divers that have used hydrogen in the mixtures of gas. So its, it's safety record is well documented in gas mixtures and there's been no safety issues in all these years. Dr. Nicholson, how did the research into hydrogen begin? Well, research into hydrogen has been ongoing for, for a number of uh, years, but I think the most interesting discovery was made in Japan by Professor Ota in Tokyo, where they actually found that hydrogen was an excellent antioxidant. And, and from those studies on, we and other people have been investigating the role of hydrogen, not only as an antioxidant, but as an anti-inflammatory agent. How would you explain the ability of hydrogen to get into cells? You know, hydrogen has this very natural property where it can dissolve into and move across cell membranes. And of course, cell membranes uh, separate every cell in our body and even the central nervous system, which is separated by the blood-brain barrier, hydrogen can penetrate that. So essentially, hydrogen can get into any compartment within our body. And I know this is one of your areas of expertise that you've spent decades. Well, that's, that's true. I mean, the cell membranes, for example, is, uh, that's uh, one of my uh, important topics that we developed in the early 70s. Uh, but I must say that uh, hydrogen is a very, very interesting molecule in terms of its ability to penetrate not only into cells, but into the organelles inside cells and passing through various membranes. And therefore, it can virtually go everywhere in your, in your body. And I think that's important for its health benefits. Now, how does hydrogen get in to side cells? Well, hydrogen has this very unique property that other antioxidants don't have. It can penetrate the cell membrane of a cell. Here's a cell in this green barrier around here is the membrane around the cell. And hydrogen penetrates that fairly, fairly easily and it gets into all the compartments of the cells. It gets into mitochondria, it gets into the nucleus, it gets into all these compartments of the cell, and it does that very easily. And that's a very important feature of hydrogen. So we don't have to invent uh, fancy molecules to help get it in. It just gets in very naturally because of its structure. It will go in uh, places where other antioxidants can't. And a good example of that is the central nervous system which has a barrier around it called the blood-brain barrier, which prevents a lot of molecules from freely flowing in to our brains. Well, hydrogen can flow in through the blood-brain barrier very easily. So it's a very unique molecule in that respect because there are not too many things that can do that.